Well, hello, YouTube, and welcome. Scott That Funk here. You know, it occurs to me now I've been living in the UK for 25 years, and there's certain things about my native country, America, that have changed so much in the interim that I've been gone. And there's the hard reality that I have to admit to myself is I don't really know America anymore. And that's uh, a bit disturbing, really. I think about the issues going on regarding racism in America and the conversations I see happening about that here on YouTube. And I've got loads of opinions that I'd like to share about these issues. But again, I have to admit that uh, having been gone for such a long time, things have obviously changed on the ground uh, while I've been gone. And I think the issues of racism have always existed, uh, you know, no matter what era you're talking about. I think they do evolve over time like everything else does. And I think maybe I'm just not qualified to talk about race in America in any other sense than the abstract sense. Um, because I honestly don't know what the atmosphere is like anymore. You can get the wrong impression if you just base all of your impressions on what you get from media. So I don't really like to do that, although, you know, living thousands of miles away, that is sort of what I'm stuck with. And it disturbs me because, in many ways, it seems like while I've been gone, my country's taken a turn for the worse. I don't think it has as much sense of pride as it used to. And, um,. Maybe there's good reason for that, but it does seem a bit of a shame. And the culture war, again, one doesn't like to base one's opinion solely off what one gets from the media. Uh, but it does seem to be the case very strongly that um, the culture war in America is has the potential to tear the country apart, you know. I'm subscribed on, or I follow uh, Right Wing Watch on Twitter, and uh, you constantly see tweets from these conservative blowhards going on about how same-sex marriage is going to ruin the country and all this kind of stuff, just as an example. And the level of hyperbole is really disturbing all by itself. I mean, you know, if you want to have a, a discussion about a topic, you don't need to go there. You, you just discuss the topic. But they know they haven't got rationale on their side, so they have to appeal to the emotion of fear, basically. And uh, also people's uh, perception of what they're supposed to believe when it comes to their spiritual identity. So, I don't know. I just think... While I feel like I'm always going to be, oh hi, I, I didn't realize I was that far out of focus. Well, like I feel I always will be um, American and America is a part of me. I'm so apart from America now. And I don't really know how, how to feel about that, you know? But there you go. That's all I'm going to say for this video. I just want to keep it brief. I'm gonna make another video. Uh, hello. I'm gonna make another video discussing uh, Ronald Reagan. I'm gonna see if I can get that out of my uh, system. I want to thank you for watching this one. Until next time, may all your ups and downs be ups.